we call the hours of anguish and let, let thy song A bigger plate. Another big one there, look. And that one looks like an Egyptian one, doesn't it? That thing there looks like a boat. Wow. Oh, this is it. That's another look now. This used to be easier to see the gold sonnet. Let's have a look, let's go back. Aha, this is it. Right now. I can't see the screen, I want to get the screen. See this up there. I'll see that. I'll leave it everywhere. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. I'll see what I'll do. I'll put a stick up and right near it. See if you can see it. Ah, damn. Sorry about that. Oh, why? I doubt you will, but. Mary Allen, the second surviving daughter of John and Judith Allen, born 26th of June 1924, died 11th of September 1874, 11th of September 9-11. Her remains repose in the vault beneath with those of her much-loved parents. Right, okay. What's this one say? What's the bit about? Judith Allen, oh, okay, that's Mary Allen, that's Judith Allen, that Squire, Judith Allen Squire, St. John St. Phyllis Deptford, born at Bury Street, I think it is, Suffolk, died at De Deptford, uh, 26th of August, 1866, so she was young, wasn't she, 26 years of age, oh no, 26th of August, beg your pardon, uh, how many children do you have? Yeah, it doesn't, I can't see her age on there. It's just a shame that it's worn off. I'm sure you used to be able to read it a lot easier. Okay. John Allen. This is definitely the one, I know it is. This is the one. It's like a king's, it's almost like a, what a king would be buried in, isn't it? You can imagine. Where is the plaque? There used to be a plaque on there, I don't know where it's gone. I'm sure they've taken it off, or it's worn away. It used to be clearly written. John Allen. Whitby, Yorkshire, August 70, 17, 1790. Died at St John's Villas, Deptford, Kent, 29th of May, 18... 19, no it can't be 19, 1855, so what was he, 1719 to 1855, what's that make him, 65, forever with the Lord, uh, wow, aha, John Allen, let's see, it's a long end, great big letters, it's um, died 65, yeah, that's the guy, Oh, yeah, 1790. So this is the big man. This, I think that's the Admiral, the Lord Admiral. Oh, okay. Go for you. Go out for a view. Um, this is going to be a long video. It might be too long. I don't know. Let's have a look how long it's been. 30 minutes. Yeah, that might be enough on that one, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let's just see if we can get a bit more in. I'm not sure what the max is on these for YouTube. Mary Hattie. Let's get some more in that you can see. Blimey. In this vault, I deposited the remains of Vincent Figgins for many years and an animate type founder in the city of London. He departed this life February the 29th, 1844, age 77. Yeah, I heard about him. He was a typesetter. He was famous. Died that sort of quite the remains of. And then, <coughs> oh, that's his wife. But I was thought. Wow. Let's go before. That's another one. They're another part of the family. 
Okay. Right, so that's the, who's this one then? Do we look at this? Blackheath, that's an expensive area. And it is now, I don't know if it would have been then. Ah, oh, look at this one, it's like, like Star Wars. Oh, let's see like that. Uh, crikey. Yeah. I think it used to be, they probably do clean them up every now and again because they seem to have got a lot more harder to read. Famous graves, there we go. People featured. Let's see if I can hold it there, you can get a, here's it. Good enough to read. I can read it through there, you should be able to get the sun off it. Well, hopefully you can. Thing with the video, it's the only thing with this with the video, you have to when you set it, as far as I know, when you set it, you can't, you can't, um, apparently, you can't, um, you know, zoom in or out once it's set and it's on the video. Seems a bit silly, doesn't it? Let's read a bit of it. difficult to read but there you go well let's just go down this little bit here and kind of turn around because I think this is getting a bit long oh my one more I want to take you to have a look at this one if this is the one I'm thinking of I might be able to split it into two videos I mean, if, instead of having a part three part four I don't really want to go to that many you know if people will follow it actually you know at the end of the day you can come and see it yourself, there's a lot more. I don't want to show you everything because it'll ruin it for you, really. There's no point in you coming in, is it? Well, there is, it's nice to walk around. But... There's another one, Highgate Cemetery, but this is like just as good as far as I know. Kind of a family called Mullins. Mullins family. I think we used to run up this hill because I remember it, it's been absolutely knackering. When you got to the top and there was a chair, yeah there it is. You can sit out and look over the city of London. That one there. 22nd of January 1890. Died 1869. Oh okay, let's see if I can find one that's. 1897 to, he lived to be 75. Oh, some of them, you, the rich people tended to live to be older. I remember looking at poorer graves, they died a lot younger. Obviously, you know, for obvious reasons. They would. <laughs> That's the view, you still have to look out that way. Right, okay, what's that 